2019 was quite a fashionable year. Some of our favorite celebs rocked every single red carpet like they owned it, while others unfortunately completely missed the mark and left us wondering, what on earth were they thinking? We bring you the best and worst dressed stars of 2019. Jennifer Lopez proves fashion is ageless. Not only did Jennifer Lopez celebrate her 50th birthday in 2019, she also showed the world that fashion has no age limit. This songstress has always had a thing for clothing, and this year was no different. Whether she was bearing her out-of-this-world body on the set of Hustlers or reprising that green Versace dress from the 2000 Grammys, J.Lo could do no wrong. We aren't the only ones who think she's worthy of being the industry's best-dressed celeb. In 2019, she was honored with the Fashion Icon Award at the CFDA Fashion Awards. This year, like, you won the Icon, Fashion Icon Award? Woo! As the CFDA chairwoman, designer Diane von Furstenberg said, Jennifer Lopez uses clothes as a way to express confidence and power. We agree. For the ceremony, Lopez wore a stunning orange crop top with a matching skirt and flowy train designed by Ralph Lauren Collection. Altogether, the getup was covered in over 43,000 crystals. All hail the fashion queen! 2019 marked three years since Celine Dion lost her husband, René Angelil, to throat cancer. Since then, the megastar has not only stepped out with a new man, she's also kicked things up a notch in the fashion department. Dion hit up countless couture fashion shows in 2019, and each appearance proved just how much she's willing to push the envelope. It's okay, it's okay. I'm Celine Dion. While attending Valentino's Haute Couture show, she donned the designer's white long-sleeved number, complete with a mock neck, feather embellishments on the sleeves and hem, and dashes of color on the front. Yellow teardrop earrings and beachy waves in her hair completed her look. Basically, the last year of the decade marked Dion's complete transition from her conservative outfits of the past to her new va va -voom persona. And we must say, we're loving it. Not everyone has been a fan of the couture queen's change in style, though. But she couldn't care less. Regarding her new style aesthetic, she told The Sun, If you like it, I'll be there. If you don't, leave me alone. Amen, sister. 2019 was the year of Timothy Chalamet, but not always in a positive way. Case in point, the tiny Eiffel Tower keychain he showcased at the December 2019 Paris premiere of Little Women. Everyone was puzzled as he held on tightly to the trinket, and it was later revealed the keychain was a gift from a fan. Although it's adorable that he would flaunt the keepsake on the red carpet, it really took the attention away from his attire. That wasn't the only accessory he's had that made heads turn. Chalamet attended the Golden Globes in a contraption that many assumed was a sex harness. It began to trend all over the web, up until it was revealed the harness was actually an embellished bib designed by Louis Vuitton. The actor completed the monochromatic outfit with a black shirt, black pants, and black boots. If Chalamet continues to confuse us by wearing random trinkets and questionable attire on the red carpet, he'll surely find himself on our worst-dressed list once again. We knew Gemma Chan had amazing style potential when she showed up at the Oscars wearing a head-turning Valentino couture gown. While that controversial outfit unfortunately earned her a spot on worst-dressed lists around the web, one of her most noteworthy looks of the year was what she served up at the Met Gala. With the theme of camp, Chan wore an eye-catching dress made out of chainmail by Tom Ford, complete with a matching silver cape and heels. And we can't forget her dramatic headpiece, which was inspired by Elizabeth Taylor's appearance in the film Boom. Chan told Vogue UK, We wanted to make sure this was a chance for Tom to give his interpretation of the theme of camp, along the lines of extravagance, excess. In our opinion, Chan succeeded, stealing the show with style and grace. We had an inkling 2019 would be a fashion flop for Julianne Hough when she donned a two-piece gold number and matching jacket to the Billboard Awards. Little did we know, the Dancing with the Stars winner had a whole arsenal of cringeworthy outfits to don all year long. At the October premiere of Netflix's Dolly Parton's Heartstrings, Huff wore a pale, long-sleeved mini-dress covered in white, frilly flower embroidery designed by Alessandra Rich. Her mock turtleneck and the hems of her sleeves and dress had a ruffle embellishment, and the sash around her waist was made of a silk-like material. Huff, who stars as Jolene in the series, opted for a pair of shiny chandelier earrings and silver pumps to round out her look. The silver lining in this fashion bomb is definitely her earrings, which Huff told Entertainment Tonight she borrowed from Parton herself. Even with that, we sadly have to give this look a thumbs down. 
Regina King dazzled on every red carpet throughout 2019 as she tailored her signature style of shoulder-bearing and leggy ensembles. And she really knocked our socks off when she wore a white strapless Oscar de la Renta gown to the 2019 Oscars. But the actress didn't stop there. She later lit up the 11th Annual Governor's Awards in a Ralph and Russo white and champagne beaded number. Her braided hair had purple accents and was pulled to the side in a low bun, and King kept her makeup minimal to allow her gold earrings to act as the focal point of her look. It's clear King knows which silhouettes flatter her immaculate shape, but we have to give some credit to the team who's helped create her signature style, which her stylists say sends a message of strength. As Wayman Bannerman, who styles the actress alongside Micah McDonald, told People, Regina is a force, and we believe she exudes that on the carpet. Hats off to one of this year's best dressed stars. Casey Musgraves started off 2019 with a bang when she took home four Grammys. Getting thrust into the spotlight meant Musgraves' fashion choices would also take center stage at many highly publicized events, and we were really hoping that her signature retro style would pull through. Sadly, it flopped. We thought her green, multi-tiered David Coma dress at the iHeartRadio Music Awards was just a minor misstep, but we now realize Musgraves might be in need of a style intervention. While attending Variety's Hitmakers brunch, she wore a pink plaid coat with a contrasting black lapel that practically swallowed her whole, along with a matching blazer by designer Tanya Taylor. The starlet paired her outfit with a pair of blue jeans and white Stuart Weitzman pumps. We just wish she'd left the humongous coat at home and simply wore the blazer by itself. Sometimes less is more. When Charlize Theron wasn't attending an award show in 2019, she was on a press tour for Bombshell and looked like a million bucks every step of the way. The actress pulled out all the stops and ultimately showed the world why she's still considered one of the best-dressed stars. One look in particular was a black Dior number she wore to the movie's U.S. premiere. The vampy spaghetti strap dress included a plunging V neckline and a fringe design at the hem. So how does Theron manage to consistently nail everything she wears? She told WWD she's lucky enough to have the support of generous people who send her really nice pieces. She said, I'm so fortunate to be in that position because my closet is always filling up with these amazing gifts. However, Theron does realize she could never wear everything she's gifted, so her friends get first dibs on the extra things in her closet. Nicki Minaj's style has been on a constant roller coaster. She went from a wacky wardrobe during her Pink Friday era to a more demure aesthetic that even we couldn't help but rave about. But as we kicked off 2019, we realized Minaj was back on the outlandish fashion bandwagon, wearing pieces that have no business seeing the light of day. Take her Met Gala dress, for example. With a theme of camp, we expected the entertainer to go all out by wearing a theatrical gown that would steal the show. Instead, her probable garoon gown was a flop. The baby pink dress included a sweetheart neckline that showed way more skin than necessary, shiny crystals dripping down the bodice, and a bunched-up silk taffeta train. Meanwhile, her custom-made lace-up sandals by Brother Veli's were more of an eyesore, so we weren't the least bit surprised when Minaj made Footwear News' worst dress list for the extravagant event as well. Sierra is one of many artists who has crossed over from musician to a style icon. Even the fashion industry took notice of her impeccable sense of fashion when Roberto Cavalli tapped her to be the fashion house's brand ambassador in 2015. Years later, designers are still clamoring to drape the statuesque entertainer in their coveted pieces, and Sierra slays each and every item like a boss. The versatility in her 2019 looks ranged from haute couture at the BET Awards to subtle yet risky at the year's American Music Awards press day event. The dark blue al yet leather dress looked striking against her dark hair and smoky eyeshadow. A huge, exaggerated bow sat at one hip of the dress. To tone down her look a bit, Sierra opted for a pair of classy black sandals. When it comes to getting all dolled up, Sierra means business. She told Footwear News, You have to know who you are when it comes to fashion and expressing yourself as an artist, because that's a huge part of how people remember you. No wonder she's constantly hitting a fashion home run. We expected Katy Perry to look like a princess all year long, but something was askew with her fashion choices. 
The artist attempted to wow us with this strapless Balmain getup at the 2019 Grammys, but the shiny pink and silver bodice, in combination with the pink paper mache esque monstrosity on the lower half of her body, solidified her spot as one of the year's worst dressed stars. The American Idol judge's outfit even became the source of various memes, including one image where a crafty internet user turned the singer into a paint roller. Perry took it all in stride and reposted the meme to her Instagram with the caption, Hi to whoever made this edit. We're glad she can laugh at herself, but Perry's 2019 fashion choices are no laughing matter. Aside from the misstep she donned at the Grammys, she also showed up to the Met Gala dressed as a human chandelier. Here's to Perry getting a style intervention before it's too late. Dan Levy doesn't just play fashion-obsessed character David on Schitt's Creek, he's also a fashion connoisseur in real life. Levy even pulls pieces from his own wardrobe to wear on the show. So I spent about a month and a half scouring the internet for it and finally found it on eBay. So the fact that Levy owned the red carpet in 2019 is no big surprise. He has emerged as a fashion trendsetter who knows how to mix and match pieces to precision. At the MTV Movie and TV Awards, Levy was a winner in his bright red Alexander McQueen suit and white Burberry shirt with a paperclip motif around the collar. Levy exudes confidence on and off the screen and hopes others can also find the courage to be proud of their own unique style aesthetic. I think you have to feel comfortable in the clothes that you're wearing because if you are uncomfortable, people can see and people can tell and that's not a good, that's not a good look. At any given award show, you're bound to see countless two-piece suits. But Shawn Mendes really owned the menswear attire in 2019, thanks in part to his penchant for donning colorful fabrics. At the MTV Video Music Awards, Mendes rocked a teal number with an unbuttoned black shirt and white top underneath. Meanwhile, the American Music Awards saw the singer go for a tailored indigo suit by designer Paul Smith and a Marcel von Berlin teal shirt. The heartthrob also showed off his flawless skin, which was enhanced with some help from Yves Saint Laurent's Touche Clock concealer. We love that he's taking a risk with his look, especially since he was a bit hesitant to experiment with fashion in the past. Mendez told British GQ, I went through a stage of wearing black khaki trousers, a black shirt, white socks, and black shoes. I wore this look everywhere. I've really changed the way I dress. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!